Hey guys, Periodic Insanity here to bring you a short video on something that I've wanted to do for a while, which is attempting to fix bent motherboard pins. Now I went on eBay and bought a MSI Z97 PC Mate for under 20 bucks. It's about the recommended amount that I would say you should spend on it because if you can't fix it, it's pretty much a brick. The only thing you could use off of it is maybe the heat sinks. So, in this video, I'm going to try to fix it and I'll learn a couple things and share them with you at the end. What I think about trying to fix this issue versus just scrapping it and, you know, sell it yourself on eBay to someone else to let them <laughs> fix it. And then, you know, we'll see if it works for me and someone will be getting a really cheap computer out of this then. So without further ado, let's open it up and see what we got. So I've got everything we'll need laid out for this project and we're going to open the box up and take a look. You can see whoever I bought this motherboard from didn't bother to put the cover back on, but I guess it's broken anyways. And inside the box you can see all that I got included with mine is a uh, manual and CD, so no aisle shield, which sucks. I'm going to have to buy that for a couple extra bucks if this works. I'm going to do a quick zoom in here so that you guys can see a little more clearly the bent pins and what we're working with here. And now we'll get to the part that I'm most excited about, which is trying to fix her up and see if it works. Okay, so we've got it all hooked up to my test bench, as you can see here, and we're going to be trying to just boot to the BIOS. I don't have anything else hooked up but the front connectors and a HDMI cord and uh, just the very basics of the power supply. So if it boots up to the BIOS, then we're going to try to hook up a hard drive and install Windows and see if we can run some benchmarks and see if we can overclock. But otherwise, let's just uh, start with this right here and see if we can get it to work, guys. So here we are at the moment of truth. I'm going to switch the power supply to the on position and we'll see if we can fry something. Oh, I did not like that. Oh, it's spinning. There's a signal. Okay. Man, I hear a really high pitched noise coming from, I think, the uh, CPU cooler. Alright, so the camera battery died, but uh, 
the high pitched noise I was hearing was actually from my power supplies fan, which sucks, but it's nice that it's not the CPU cooler or anything wrong with the motherboard. Now you can see I got the bias to pop up. Um, I'm a dumbass and I plugged my uh, keyboard into the wrong PS2 port. Uh, shame on me. So I'm going to go in here and uh, enable XMP and restart. And then we'll move on to phase two of the master plan if everything goes uh, fine. Okay, so I've got my trusty test SSD or test SD you might want to call it hooked up. And we're ready to run again and try to install Windows. Oh, just kidding. Um, I'm not going to make you sit through the uh, entire Windows installation. Uh, we're going to speed it up here. And we're on the Windows desktop with no issues so far. Okay, guys, so we're going to check out the performance in another video. But uh, I just wanted to show you that it's up and running and running Windows. Uh, Windows 10, 64-bit. You know, this is quite a bit of value out of something that someone thought was a bad apple of a motherboard and turned out to be pretty tasty. So to go over a couple things that I think if you want to embark on a pin fixing adventure yourself, pick up a set of these iFixit ESD safe tweezers because that's going to save you a lot of hassle and wondering if you did any damage with other tools like a, maybe a dentist kit or you know some other tweezers that you might try to use. Now when you go shopping for these bent pin motherboards, some of the things to look for is bent pins, not broken pins. So ask to see more photos on eBay. You know, if you go to a micro center or you got those near you, you can you can look at it and you can determine whether they're all they're bent or they're broken because broken you're going to have a lot harder time fixing. I'm not going to try and do it and it's just it's way more hassle than it's worth. The right price is probably around 20 to 25 percent of the motherboard's value because you're you're really taking a shot in the dark that you're gonna be able to sit there and fix this and more pins uh, more problems so anticipate that if you're fixing a intel lga 2011 cpu you're gonna run into having to fix a lot more pins or maybe more problems than the 1150 or 1151 that the mainstream processors are on so you might want to try your hand with one of those first that said it's definitely worth it to maybe pick up a good 2011 motherboard and see if you can fix it up try and get it for 40 50 bucks an expensive one and maybe it's worth it so anyways well, when you set up your area for doing this you want to make sure it's well lit and comfortable because you're going to be sitting there fixing pins for up to an hour probably um, you gotta be patient, you gotta be picky, and you gotta triple check yourself. It's, uh, I, I went over areas several times and, you know, saw stuff that was, it, it wasn't right. And, you know, you, you look at it, you start going cross-eyed, but you gotta go over it several times because when you plug that CPU in, if you fry it and it's because you didn't double check, you're, or you wonder if you didn't double check something, you know, you're going to be kicking yourself that you wasted even just a cheap CPU on that. Don't load up on caffeine because you need to you need to not be jittery and you need to be able to focus and stare at it basically for <laughs> for a while. Um, you know you're gonna need some luck and you're gonna need some prayer to uh, it, get the right motherboard and get this to work but I got lucky and I got the right one, and under $20 for a Z97 motherboard is a pretty sweet deal. So I'll be trying to overclock this, probably put a better CPU cooler on it, or put a better, uh, at least some better thermal paste on it. So I'll let you know how that goes in another video. But for now, for those of you who are going to try this yourselves, good luck. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. If you like the video, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, uh, give it a dislike. Uh, leave a comment as to whether you like or don't like this kind of content because I enjoy doing this type of stuff. So, you know, let me know if I'm on the right track of uh, gaining a viewership and doing what I love and turning it into video form. So uh, let me know, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.